Most of us are certainly not environmentalists, but doesn't take much to realize that time is running out for Kenya and the world at large to fight climate change. The forefront of this conflict between human beings and the environment is right at Kenya's wetlands and arable land masses. It's a mix of man's greed and man's need. Now 80% of Kenya's total land mass is either arid or semi-arid. The other 20% is occupied by over 27 million people in this country. That is around 70% of Kenyan total population. This has created a serious problem, especially when it comes to deforestation. That is very serious in this country. In fact, the deforestation rate is at 0.4% per year. That looks to be a very insignificant percentage. But if you look at it statistically, it means that every year Kenya will be losing around 100,000 square kilometers to deforestation. It's a serious issue. And that is why we want to explain to you how simple concepts and technologies can help change people's lives in this country using such a small product. Outside this factory, Global Supply Solution rests 13,500 acres of Del Monte Pineapple Farm in Thika Town. The work of harvesting pineapples leaves tons of waste materials behind the workers. Material, which uh, we can only do when it's uh, reached a certain moisture content, when it's uh, dry enough for use as the cats. Uh, after that, what we, what we do is we bale it to make it easier to bring to uh, the factory. So as you can see here, mm. we've got uh, uh, some big bales. Mm. Eight years ago, Alan Marega was looking for an alternative source of fuel after realizing that the use of fire would contribute to the depletion of forest. By then, Alan was a pilot and he decided to pursue a new interest. Talk to their two main uh, clients. There's the industries who use them in their boilers. For the industries, they're more concerned about the calorific value, the low ash content, and uh, also the, the, the fact that uh, in our case, there's no clinker residue. Those are the three factors that the industries look for. Uh, and our briquette is perfect for that. Uh, now for the in households uh, in, in Kenya and mainly rural areas as well where a lot of charcoal is used, uh, what they'd be looking for is an, a good alternative to charcoal that is cleaner, uh, that is green, no trees have had to be cut down, it's environmentally friendly. And in our case, our briquette would burn twice as long. That involves uh, first uh, the material going into the silo. Uh, from the silo and comes out at the end at a high temperature. Uh, it goes down the cooling line uh, until the, the crates where the final briquettes, uh, uh, briquettes are aggregated. Yes. I deal with the baling and feedstock collection. Uh, we use the tractor and the baler to do the baling in the fields. His endeavor was an expensive one and as such, Marega sourced for funds from ICDC Africa Enterprise Challenge Fund, Energy and Environment Partnership, and Kenya Climate Innovation Center, which provided a total of 230 million Kenyan shillings in loan and grants. Kenya is classified among the countries with low forest cover of less than 10% of the total land area. The forest cover has decreased by 8% between 1981 and 1990s and an additional 7% since the year 2000. But deforestation is more than just cutting down trees. People living in rural areas are at the center of this destruction. The other good thing about, uh, I suppose, uh, the advantage to the growers of the pineapple uh, is that uh, now there's a use for the material, or for material that was previously thought to have no value or use after the extraction of the fruit. Uh, so we are adding value uh, both to um, growers and at the same time to communities. The company employs 15 people including two engineers, forklift operators, technicians, tractor drivers and casual laborers on two shifts of eight hours daily to produce 70 metric tons of briquettes. Obarmak, KTN News.